Hi friends, welcome to Floss Tube number 23, I believe. Um, my name is Ymir. I go by all my M&Ms both here on Floss Tube on Instagram and pretty much everywhere now on social media. Um, if you are new here, welcome. If you are a returning friend, hello, good to see you. Um, this is a video where I talk about cross-stitching yarn i guess but it's definitely hopefully it's gonna be a short one today i think it's gonna be a short one because i have a few updates um to share with everyone and yeah so i'll do that and then i will happily let you continue on to another floss tube video of any of our other friends within the community um, because Lord knows that we all have to catch up some way, somehow, to all of the content on here in this beautiful community. Um, so, I don't know where to start. So much has been going on since we last spoke. Um, first things first, I'm going to StitchCon. I am going to StitchCon. I am super happy. I'm going to um, go in Group B and hopefully i'll be able to see you if you're there i'm not sure how many people are going to be there that i may know but i'm always happy willing and able to continue to meet new friends and new people i'm super bummed out that unfortunately we all can't be together and do this large gigantic thing and it's going to be split in two different groups but hey you know it's part of the experience um so i'm bummed out that i won't be able to meet a few other people that i would like to meet but hopefully i think there's so many other opportunities for us to meet up in real life so hopefully that happens but i'm super excited for um stitch con stitch con 2021 um i pretty much signed up a i was bummed out in the beginning of covid situation because i was like oh my god this wait list is so like it's closed like etc i can't get in and i was pretty much bumped out um and i was low-key jealous but you know it was happy for everyone and then sometime during may um i happened to check and this was before all the announcements were made i happened to check the website because hello like who doesn't stock um websites where you want to shop from and you know cross stitch things and i was happened to be stocking um shameless but not shameless and i was like there's a wait list that's open so i couldn't click any faster to sign up and i did and within i don't know I don't know how long i think it was like within a few hours i got an email and i could not pay that paypal invoice any faster than what i did um so i'm super excited about it i just bought my ticket today and today is i don't know what's the date okay i don't know what the date is may 23rd 22nd 23rd perhaps um let's see what's what's today's date Oh, may 22nd guys there's so much stuff going on um so yeah stitch con is happening if you are going you're going to be part of group b let me know let's make an appointment to meet up and have some fun super excited i'll be there all weekend um i will pretty much i'll be flying i bought my tickets last night which now it's official so i'll be flying in early early in the morning on thursday so i will probably need a place to safely quietly stitch while um the rooms open up so hopefully we will be great and set um speaking about stitch con um i sorry i'm like twirling my flaws so i am interested in doing the smalls exchange i'm not sure what to exchange and the issue is because i already stitched small so something large is going to be already small so my thing is do i stitch something large and make it small or do i stitch a, a real life 
small but make it micro so let me know what you think um would you be upset with me <laughs> if i stitch a small and make it smaller than a small um because hello went over one girl over here um so let me know about that i am definitely planning on taking the zimmerman coverlet with me i'm also planning and i mean rewind i'm already starting to continue um i've seen so many people say oh my god should i take a little like rolly bag with me to carry all my projects and i'm like oh my god what am i doing like all of my projects fit i don't even have the to like a little small rectangle bag like everything fits in a bag like this and i'm like i don't have i don't need to use so much space it's gonna be very interesting what i pack how i pack it and it's gonna be one small bag so we'll see how that works out um but i'm definitely thinking of sidebar my boyfriend is in the living room with one of our friends so you're probably gonna hear him in the background um so yeah i i'm just like whoa what what projects am i gonna take um how many should i take and i was just super like i don't know what was that mm. um so i'm just kind of like i don't know what i'm gonna take but i i do have an idea i'm thinking of taking the zimmerman coverlet with me um i love the zimmerman coverlet i'm almost done with it and i'm low-key taking my time because i don't want it to finish so what i'm thinking is advancing it as much as i can or probably not like i'll tell you why i probably won't be able to <clears throat> excuse me so i'm thinking of advancing it as much as i can and hopefully finishing it at stitch on or just stitching it and at least having that as a memory there so definitely thinking of taking my zimmerman coverlet i'm thinking of taking sidebar this is what my fractor looks like right now i think i'm at 38 percent I'm using the silk, the silk stitching app um, by Historic Stick, Stick Moisture. I think I got it right. I think I got it right. Oh my god. Um, so this is the Fractor Love Sampler. I am pretty much loving it. This is the width already and I think it's going to be this and this is going to be the length. Um, so I'm planning on taking this one with me. I'm also planning on taking my Bristol Sampler and the bristol sampler if you have not seen it yet and pardon all the flaws is this one um i'm actually stitching this one with shiloh from x stitch md and tiffany from tiffin stitches i need to frog a few pe like i feel like i need to frog all of this down here i'm not sure um so i kind of like put this on hold because i was like yeah i need a frog and it's 56 count one over one mur, 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 mur. so i may just rectify this so i can take it with me and at least stitch on it for fun um because i also did want to take with me um some smaller pieces like smaller as in size like yes i'm stitching on 40 count i'm stitching on 46 count but i wanted to take a 56 count one over one with me because i know a lot of people are always like "Ooh, why how what does it look like so i really want to give others the experience of i guess what my real life stitching looks like so um and those are the things that i'm gonna take with me i also want to take a um start right like everyone is always like oh you have to have a start blah blah so i'm thinking of taking a start with me and what i'm thinking of taking with me is a pattern that i wanted to start for my birthday and unfortunately i wasn't able to um because i had launched omen m ms the floss shop and i just focused on creating more colors and and fulfilling all of the orders so i didn't have the chance to do a birthday start so i really wanted to save this one for another special occasion and i honestly think that StitchCon is a perfect occasion and it is big enough that it's not going to be a quick finish um so it's going to be i'm super excited about it so i'm just going to stop talking about it and just show you it's called the meta put farkin um this one i love it 
I love it. Um, I really enjoyed the ordering process, but I'm just like, oh my god. So I'm not sure what colors to use. And I also got a um, card with it, a postcard. So let me see. This is actually a better image of it. This is what it looks like. Tell me that's not beautiful i think it has over a hundred flowers i may be wrong um so i'm thinking of stitching it <laughs> my only thing and it's 56 count one over one um that i'm planning on doing it in either should i do 56 count or should i do 46 count i'm not sure what do you think first question 56 count or 46 count or 40 count one of those other 40 46 or 56 that's your first question the second question is i don't have a clue what color i want to do and the only reason why i say that is let me stop crinkling the only reason why i say that is because I don't know like i'm always i feel like i'm great with colors um i love the color theory that's my thing that's my jam um but i don't know what color to do this and should i do a red but that would mean that i would have currently three red samplers going the modern folk embroidery zimmerman coverlet the bristol sampler and now this or should i do it in a different color i'm not sure so what do you think any color ideas would be helpful so definitely so that's all of my stitch con updates i'm super excited about it i'm growing i'm going in group b um let me know if you're going uh, i'm giving you so much homework to do but just let me know if you're going and i'm super excited to meet you if i we haven't interacted and if we meet each other on that day group b then i am super excited whatever fine okay next um the next thing that i actually wanted to talk to you all about was guess what i finally closed on our apartment so we closed earlier this week super exciting it was probably one of the longest most stressful processes ever um but luckily we closed i'm super excited about it if i find a picture i'll include it here um and i don't know which one it would be if i find one i'll probably include it there and if i did not that was awkward and weird right um so we closed uh so now we took time off from work and hold on sorry i was having a cough attack um i may have to pause it again um so we took time off from work and we will be spending pretty much the whole week renovating painting doing everything on the place and um I'm thinking of documenting the process. So let me know if you're interested in um, watching a video or just steps or like a few short vlogs every day. Maybe I can do that, a vlog a day. A vlog a day, maybe I could do that. Um, maybe I could do that, what do you think? Let me know, I'll try, I'll try to post this tonight. Um, Maybe I could do a vlog a day um, of our progress and kind of show you, do a walkthrough on the first day of what our place looks like right now and then kind of just vlog it out. I don't know. Let's see. Um, would it be weird if there's home renovations in this channel? I'll probably include it in a separate playlist um, so you can see what we're up to. What are we going to be doing? We're pretty much going to be working day and night in there um, for the next week because we're on a deadline. And yeah, that's pretty much what's going on. So I may be, maybe, maybe slightly behind on some of the orders. Not really, but slightly behind. Um, but you now know why. So pretty much we're gonna i'm pretty much gonna get everything done and hopefully packaged and ready to go so i don't have to think about um delaying people's packages and things like that but just so you know that's pretty much what's happening and i'm guessing i'm sharing my journey with you all let me know if you really don't want me to share the journey i guess don't 
touched that playlist and maybe i don't know i'm sorry if you're not interested but it's part of my life um it's gonna be part of my life it's been going on for a while and i'm super excited to share it with everyone so yes okay i'm done that's pretty much it um yeah what else oh yes okay so my nose is itchy so i wanted to briefly talk to you all about um the, i have a friend who has a shop um she's actually in michigan or chicago i want to say michigan um i think it's michigan i think it's michigan i might be wrong but um i'll include the flyer here she is opening up a knit shop um and she's i'm actually reading about it right now so she's opening up a knit shop and she's doing the um she's doing like a meetup and it's called worldwide knit in public day and saturday june 12th from 11 to 3 p.m so it's the congregation i'm just reading the little poster it's the congregation and it's on 90 i can't read 9321 rosa parks boulevard um and her shop is called park avenue nets um so it's a local yarn shop to there i'll include all the information below but i know they're having like a pretty cool event and like you come and knit together since it's world knitting day um unfortunately i won't be able to go there because i will be working but i figured i would share it with everyone because if you're in the community if you're within the area and maybe you can stop by definitely stop by or at least you know that there is a um yarn shop within your community or within that area so i definitely wanted to include that in the video because i was just talking about it and i'm thinking that i may dye some yarn for her so that's a sneak peek um so i'm thinking of dyeing some yarns for her for her shop and um yeah unfortunately i can't go but i'll probably be there in spirit um i'll be working because stitch con is the following week so i have to work that weekend and i hope she i hope i hope it's fun um i i'm pretty sure i'm excited for stitch con to imagine like doing like a little mini retreat for like knitting like hello who am i i mean are there any knitting retreats there should be right there i don't know i'm guessing there should be but whatever whatever you see i'm i'm, I'm going this way instead of that way so back focusing so focusing back to this what i wanted to say is i'm gonna probably be sharing videos with you guys or you all about the process the progress or the process um but also just note that i may be a little bit behind with certain things videos responding to emails responding to instagram because of that so forgive asking for forgiveness in advance and hopefully you all understand um i'll definitely be in touch if you reach out to me but i just may not see it as fast as i usually do so that's pretty much it i don't think i have anything else to share i honestly don't think i have anything else to share um yeah i don't think i have anything else to share if i remember it i'll probably pop it in here but aside from that let me hurry up because i want it to be short and sweet um i hope to see you within the week if it's not through here i'll see you on instagram instagram stories instagram posts instagram etc or if not i will see you on the next floss tube and i'll make sure to label everything appropriately until next time bye